Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've just been preparing my um, evening smoothie Haley's uh, away for the weekend, so I'm here by myself. And I've just got my kale smoothie. Uh, I've got kale, blueberries, uh, lots of herbs and spices, bit of turmeric, bit of pepper. Um, what else do I have? Um, mint, ginger, all those good things. So, um, I was just watching uh, one of Dr. Gregor's late, oh, it wasn't his latest video, I was re-watching another video and it mentioned um, testing your pH, your urine pH. And I thought it would be fun because I actually have some red cabbage at home. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm going to chop up the cabbage. Uh, and when I say chop, I'm gonna throw it in a thermomix for probably like 10 seconds, blend it up with some water. And we're going to have a solution. I'm going to drain off all the um, chunky bits and we're going to have a purple solution. I'm going to then um, make up a, uh, a couple of three solutions to compare it against. I'm going to have a uh, like 250 mils of water, plain water. I'm going to have 250 mils of a water and vinegar solution. This is not precise. I know vinegar is acidic. Um, so that's going to work well. And I'm also going to mix up uh, a 250 milliliter solution of um, bicarbonate of soda, which is a basic or alkaline solution. And I just want to use those three as a measure of what sort of color to look for. So that's going to be cool. We'll test it and we'll come back and we'll see our results. I'll show you the whole process as we go. So kick back, relax and enjoy this fun time testing our urine. Woohoo! But let's add some water to this and let's do some blending. All right, let's have a look. Ooh la la. Is this not the most amazing color? Oh my gosh, it's like a lilac. Whew, beautiful, like a lavender. Let's strain this. That's spilling it. Oh wow, that looks amazing. All right, so I couldn't find my other measuring jug, so we're gonna be even more precise and use the scales. All right, so we're gonna put about 50 mils in each of these glasses. Great. All right, let's do this again. All right, let's do that once more. Not that it matters. That'll do. All right, so I didn't have three of the same. So that's gonna be through the same cups. That's gonna be water. We'll put our vinegar, in, vinegar solution in this one, and our bicarbonate soda solution in the other one. All right. All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, so I'm gonna put in, um, what'll that be like? Probably 150 mils, that'll probably do us. I'll be able to judge it as we go. So this is just plain tap water. 150 mils, let's see what this looks like. All right, that should work. So that's 150 grams, which is 150 milliliters. Gotta love the metric system, one-to-one -one conversion. Beautiful. All right, so that is going to go, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we do it. Let's go here, and then I'll make up the other two solutions and we'll get the same quantities of each one. We'll dump them in there and we will see what happens. And then I'm going to pee in this and uh, we're gonna do the same thing with the jar, so that's gonna be really fun. Pee jar. All right, so here we have it. We've got 50 mils of the um, purple cabbage solution and um, we've got our 
white vinegar, which is acetic acid over here. We've got our bicarb soda solution, which is basic or alkaline. We've got the plain water over here and we have my pee right here. So this is gonna be really interesting. Um, now, I'm gonna pour the, um, like the vinegar, the bicarb solution, the water into the purple solution, but I'm gonna do it the other way around. It's not gonna make any difference um, in terms of the result for my pee, because I'd rather pour this solution into a glass of my own pee rather than pouring the pee into it, because I just don't want splash and all that kind of gross stuff. So anyway, let's do this. I just had to give Harry's little paws a clean because he was licking them before, so I'm just gonna dry those off now. Oh, it's a bit grimy down there. All right, so Harry has had his paws all washed. We're back at it. All right, so our plain water solutions remain pretty purple. So let's check out what's gonna happen with um, the bicarb soda solution. Oh, wow, that is so cool. That was awesome. I didn't even need to really give that a mix. That just turned blue instantly. That was really cool. All right, so that is like a bright. Okay, maybe we'll have to compare it. We'll compare these two close up. Okay, you can see how blue that is there, right? All right, purple and blue. Alrighty, next go off the rank. So that was the um, the alkaline solution. Now here's the acidic solution. This one should turn like a yellow color. So just get ready for this one. This is gonna be awesome. All right, here we go. Wow, oh, that's cool. All right, so like a bright pink. There you go. That is cool. Awesome, awesome source. So you can see neutral alkaline acid so if we're going from lowest to highest it'd be the acid would be a low ph this would be seven and then this would be higher than seven somewhere between seven and 14. cool all right so time for the p i'm expecting this to basically be the same as the one on the left all right so let's go okay all right, so I'm not sure how the yellow of the urine affects everything, but let's give it a swirl. All right, so it's kind of a dark, it's like a grape color, grape. It's certainly closer to neutral than it is to Acid, that's acid. White color is, uh, well that pinkish color is no good, so purple, good. So where would I, where would I put this? All right, so that's neutral and that's alkali. So I'm guessing it's, is it towards that side? just so dark. Great. I suppose it's maybe more towards the neutral side, definitely. Actually, it'd be interesting to do different solutions, see if I can get a bit of a scale happening. I might see if I can prepare um, something slightly less alkaline. I'll be back in a second. All right, so I've just got um, 150 mils of the bicarb um, soda solution. So there's um, around about probably a quarter of a teaspoon, so way less than this solution here that I used up the back. So I'm just trying to see if I can find a pH somewhere between like seven-ish, which is tap water, and, um, and the really um, far stronger um, bicarb soda solution. So I'm just gonna pour in my 50 mils of the red cabbage mixture. All right. Okay, so that gives us more of a, a almost the same, isn't it? It's more of a 
like a bright blue. I don't know. It's hard to see. And it certainly looks different uh, between what I can see in the real world and the viewfinder. So I think that looks almost, a, well, from where I'm seeing, this almost looks like a greenish. And that's more of a blue. Hmm, don't know. Don't know. Not sure. <laughs> Not sure. Anyway, that certainly looks like a grape. I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Pink, purple, grape, blue. I still don't know. I thought this was going to be more obvious to me. All right, so we've done it. Anyway, I really don't know what to make of that. I would assume that my urine is basic. It has a higher pH, that would make sense to me because I don't eat acid forming foods. I don't eat any dairy, meat or eggs. So it would, surely it would stand to reason that it's basic. And I don't know, to me that looks like grapeish is more purplish. Anyway, so blood, Blood's more acidic as we age, and to prevent that acidity, you need to be eating more alkaline foods. All right, so what actually happens is, if you've got acidic blood, to buffer the acid in your blood, if you aren't eating, if, well, if it's acidic, you need to buffer it, right? To maintain homeostasis. All right. So the muscles break down to release amino acids, glutamine, which goes into the kidneys, and that is then um, used to produce ammonia, which buffers the acids. And when you get a pee, you're releasing the ammonium ions. So that's how, that's how you do it. That's how the body does it. So as a result, if you've got acid blood, acid serum, then uh, your body's gonna be breaking down protein muscles, you're, bust, you're, you're gonna lose lean muscle mass. So, the result is if you have acidic urine, you need to eat more green leafy vegetables. If you have alkaline urine, then you just need to continue eating green leafy vegetables. So, either way, I'm doing both of those things. Well, I'm doing I'm, both of those things. I'm doing, I'm eating green leafy vegetables. Here's my kale. So I'm preparing that for um, the coming days and I'll probably end up drinking that and eating that, chucking that in the smoothie. So I still can't really make head nor tails of this purple. What the hell is this purple? What is this? This is, it looks like a grape color. Is that a grape color to you? certainly not pink it's purplish so i think it's close to neutral i don't know anyway thank you so much for watching this video um it's going onto youtube uh, and then i will upload it onto dtube as well so i'm branching out using another um video sharing platform a uh, whole other issue uh, with the whole COPPA copper United States law affecting YouTube. Um, I don't have, I have like eight subscribers. So for those of you who are subscribed, if you are one of those eight really cool people and thanks for um, subscribing and being awesome. Thank you. Um, you obviously saw something that you liked in the channel, otherwise you wouldn't have subscribed, whether it's the Pokemon openings or seeing Harry or whatever. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I don't know if I can be any more genuine than the person that you are seeing right now. This is just my life. So um, yeah, trying out some new platforms. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, I encourage you to check out DTube, uh, D.Tube. Uh, that will take you to another social media video sharing network. Um, it's also connected to the Steam network, so it's all like blockchain based technology. It's decentralized, so hopefully it won't be um, 
I don't know, I was affected by copper. I guess everything is affected by copper, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if D-Tube have a central location and they certainly, they can't. I don't think D-Tube can censor their stuff and there is no way that D-Tube can be, well, as far as I know, can be taken down by um, a government. And I guess that's the whole purpose of uh, decentralized um, anything. So yeah, I mean, it's the same as like piracy websites and that kind of thing too. They're really hard to take down because, you know, they're being shared and all that kind of thing as well. So fun science experiment. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, um, subscribe. Uh, like the video and it'd be really cool probably most importantly if you could leave a comment that would be awesome um, I get the occasional comment But I like it heaps more I'd rather get 10 comments and 10 views than one comment and a thousand views. I think it's really cool most um, Most content creators just vloggers and just regular Joe's like um, Haley and I that just do this um, very low budget kind of in our kitchen in our house walking around just vlogging without all the high-tech stuff this is not Casey nice that here this is low budget stuff <laughs> this is just our life and even if we had like you know whatever a million subscribers things wouldn't change I've just got my Samsung Galaxy just chilling out and um, just recording fun stuff I don't know just life um, if it's interesting and it's not too boring, I think most people want to check it out. Like, life is cool. It's kind of like, I don't know, is it like voyeuristic? Um, like you sort of get to peer into someone else's life. Obviously, you're not going to see everything. But, yeah, this is just home. You know, like, pup's asleep down there. He's just chilling out. You know, we got stuff all over the house. And I'm in the kitchen whipping up weird wee wee concoction so anyway have a great day and i'll probably see you in the next video catch you later